disaster struck for the shogunate when its greatest general Ashikaga Takeuji switched sides and pledged his allegiance to the emperor. And this rebellion against the shogunate would gather pace for when Ashikaga Takeuji liberated the Emperor Go-Daigo from his exile and marched together with him on the imperial capital of Kyoto, Nita Yoshisada, a man who claimed kinship with the earlier Minamoto shoguns, raised a force of over 40,000 samurai and headed for Kamakura. And it was to this headland that Nita Yoshisada came at the behest of Emperor Go-Daigo and stood on the cape and looked out towards the shogun's capital of Kamakura. Yoshisada was within sight of the shogun's capital, but as he was to find out, Getting into the city itself was another proposition entirely. These narrow passes cut in the rocks had served the shogunate well for a century and a half and now would thwart Nita Yoshisada as he tried to enter the city. Despite vastly superior numbers, Nisa Yoshisada could not get into Kamakura. Time and time again, wave after wave of samurai under Nisa Yoshisada attacked the defences, the narrow mountain passes to the west, north and east of Kamakura. But time and time again, the Hojo defenders held firm. As a kinsman of the Minamoto, Nita Yoshisada was familiar with the legend of Ichi no Tani, where the dashing general Yoshitsune had attacked the Taira stronghold from the mountains by drawing their attention with a fake feint along the coast. If Nita Yoshisada did know this story, he turned it on his head because as he left the majority of his army to continue attacking the mountain passes into Kamakura, Yoshisada led a smaller force down from the hills towards the coast at Inamuragasaki. So Yoshisada came down from the well-defended western passes here to Cape in the Murugasaki. But of course he wouldn't be able to get round here because it's the western wall of Kamakura. It juts right out into the sea. So to get around here with 15,000 men would be impossible. 
or would it? Praying to the sun goddess and offering up his sword and throwing it into the sea, Yoshisada waited to see what would happen next. And what happened next was the tide started to go out to a low level like nobody had ever seen before. Yoshisada and his men seized the moment and waded around the cape. Yoshisada and his men came around the Cape, there were Hojo warships stationed in the bay. But Yoshisada's men stayed close to the shoreline and attacked Kamakura from the south. This street was actually where the Kamakura Shogunate was located. And this temple, Hokaiji, was the headquarters of the Hojo family. After running up Wakamiya Ojidori, Yoshisada's army arrived here at the Hojo stronghold. Takatoki and his men had already retreated, so Yoshisada ordered that the Hojo stronghold be burned to the ground. Takatoki and the warriors who'd stayed faithful to him ran to the back of Tochoji Temple to hear these caves. But realizing they were vastly outnumbered, maybe 20 to 1, and that there was no escape, they took out their harakiri knives. Yoshisada and his invading army left the Hojo stronghold in flames and ran up here past Toshoji Temple towards the caves. When Yoshisada and his men arrived at the caves, they found 870 dead samurai. The Kamakura Shogunate was at an end.